According to the pundits, the possible presidency of Trump or Hillary would be the final step in the destruction of this nation. This election has so polarized the American people that each side views the other as the agent of the apocalypse should the other's candidate ascend to the top position in the land. The fear on both the left and right of the political spectrum is palpable as each tries to outdo the other in describing the cataclysm that will take place should the other side win. In this battle, political operatives stoop to the worst kind of invective when describing the other team's candidate and whip up a dangerous brew of blind hatred for one's political foes, and this condoned by candidates who boast of their religious affiliations. It is disconcerting to watch those running for office pay lip service to their own brand of faith in order to secure the vote of those who believe in God, and then, in the next breath, call their opponents liars, cowards, idiots, and thieves. This type of rhetoric may prove that they are tough competitors in the game of politics, but hardly qualifies any of them to claim Christ as Lord, who did not revile even those who were murdering him without cause. The great irony of it all is that the only candidate to eschew any allegiance to God or faith, Bernie Sanders, has been the least slanderous in speaking of his political opponents. I suspect that when all is said and done, so much harm will have been committed by both sides that no one will be happy or satisfied by the outcome. No matter who wins, we will not feel any safer or become more prosperous because these blessings are not obtainable without a sincere faith in God and obedience to His word. Unless our leaders understand this and actually submit themselves to Him sincerely, all the political power in the world will not achieve the promises they have easily made but have no power to realize. As Christians, we can take comfort in the following thought, however. God is in charge whether leaders think so or not, and this nation stands or falls based on God's will, not man's. So let us not simply pray that our man or woman wins. Let us pray instead that the next president will be humbled by the task of leading this great country and seek God's direction and help in doing so. If this prayer is answered, we will all be blessed no matter who we voted for.